Yo, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm doing a 10 relics mayday run, uh, casual, casual difficulty. And uh, I just go to the inside area. Uh, the outside upper deck area is also hard, but the inside area is even harder, I think. So uh, I decided to record here. Uh, so yeah, let's go. I uh, still have all my self revives, that's awesome. Um, I've tried it before. I go to the gas valve section. But the gas valve section is absolutely crazy. With uh, with them. So I did die. I did a valve slide there last time. Valves are very hard to protect, definitely if there's cedars and phantoms at the same time. Especially if, uh, phantoms, they uh, also attack the valves. They do so much damage for some reason. Probably because they're stored as fuck. And they shouldn't be attacking valves, but they do. <laughs> Not a cedar inbound, that's horrible. So I'm a dip. It's a nice thing about uh, them relics, you can just go to this area once the drill is protected enough. And uh, the drill is a bit increased, I think, so you can pretty much just leave and not come back. You do get less bonus money, but survival is definitely more important. Like you can hear all those plants, those plants destroy you and they're pretty hard to destroy. The double pistols, the aim isn't, isn't very accurate, and uh, the plants have a very small hitbox, so you can literally miss the hitbox, even if you're aiming straight on it, and uh, the plants will just not die. It's super annoying. Okay, this is a true hive is easy for some reason. Oh, and that is Cedar is. I don't even see him. That's why I stay in this house. Yeah, 
has the Rhino. I was just making sure there was no hunter on the drill, and I'm just gonna dip. Like the drill's at 85% health, it will be fine if I leave now. As long as there's a scout on the drill and not a, a hunter. Still get 1300 uh, points because of all the relic bonus. Okay, final hive. Let's go. Three sufferers left. The gas bars where it's gonna get difficult. Like, it, depending on how many phantoms are gonna spawn, I'm either gonna fail or win. And the amount of seizures. But I can go full on protecting with knifing and shit. <laughs> Sacrificing myself for fives. Because I think when I get to the Kraken fight, it will be all good. See the inbounds. There he is. Can't shoot him yet. We shoot him there. Yes. Cedars. We got this house. Should keep me safe. Oh fuck, Rhino! I'm dying. Come on! Yes, I got out. <laughs> Let's go. I stayed in there for way too long. <laughs> Should have left earlier when I had the cedar and the rhino spawn. But I didn't hear the rhino spawn this time. Look how slow my health is regening. <laughs> I really hate this. Clipping to the wall. Oh, there comes the Phantom. I, I want to storm in there and kill everything, but my health is just so low. By ammo. Cross is shielded by high density Alon ceramic. You can't shoot your way in. Your only chance is to trigger the emergency failsafe and flood the chamber with chlorine gas. In case you're asked to buy, because every cryptid on the ship is going to come ready to that witch's rescue. 
Yeah, this is Stem Relic Life. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I can't make this more interesting. I don't want to die. I just want to save as much bullets as I can. Go ahead. Okay, so my tactic for this is going to be uh, protecting this valve, I think. Or maybe that one. Because with that one I have uh, the Bulldog. Where I can buy ammo. And here I have the L set. So I can like go down, buy ammo, go back up, protect. Go down, buy ammo, go back up, protect. I don't know which one's best. Maybe down is better. I really have no clue. Uh, the last time I tried uh, the Bulldog and uh, it went completely wrong because of the amount of phantoms. But this time I'm gonna go with the L set strat. But I think it's really dependent on the amount of phantoms I get. There's a Cedar. I'm gonna try to take care of him as quickly as possible. Also no squig. Should buy Emma now it's quiet. Or oh, Cedar. Thank you, Cedar, for coming to me. Phantom. Thank you, Phantom, for spawning right next to me. No, no, my pipe. No. I can't climb. Thank you. Another Cedar. We have a bad RNG, I feel like. I'm just gonna stick with the open pipe. I'm just gonna try to defend the. It's actually kind of fine. Yo, Cedar, thank you. don't want to go down that too much because the jump is kind of hard sometimes if you lose your high jump just gonna stick up here protect this one like my life depends on it only going down when I need ammo I don't need that much more time as long as I don't, if there isn't going to be phantoms, I will be fine. Just give me a lot of scouts, please. I think this is a good bomb to buy ammo. Man, I'm not getting any phantoms. I'm so happy. 
I'm getting a little cedars, but they all go there for some reason. I could kill them easy. If I stand like here before the valve, the enemies will attack me as well instead of the valve. Also, no seekers. Sometimes a lot of seekers spawn and just explode themselves on the pipe. Holy shit, I'm going into the Kraken fight with three self crafts. I think this is the one. Nice. This went really great. Like last time, I couldn't do anything. There were so many. I killed a phantom, a new one spawned. It started attacking the valve. I got totally overwhelmed by hunters and, and cedars and uh, phantoms. And now there was a few hunters in the beginning. One phantom that I immediately killed, and a few cedars. So I think you got lucky. But I also think uh, I, I did the best I could. So now it's just um, turret spamming on the Kraken when it, its weak spots get exposed. And also using the turret to kill the, the cedars that are gonna spawn. Can use this thing to protect me as much as I can. This turret is strong. Didn't know that. I think I will buy ammo. Okay, so killing the Kraken takes longer than I expected. But uh, the turret is very, very strong against aliens than I expected, so... Okay, no cedars have spawned. There's not spawning much at all actually. 
As he's going to the gas phase. This fight is so weird. Not getting damage from the gas is always good. Sometimes you randomly do. You should always look out for that. Okay, so now the turret is empty. That's kind of a problem. Now just stay here. And wait till the turret is back online. Oh, at least I get no normal amount of money now. Turret is reloading. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. So now the turret is all offline on that side, which is very annoying. So I have to go to that side. And I was always wondering, like you can climb for the other side, I don't think you can climb from this side. There's so little seekers, uh, seeders. Sometimes in this boss fight, there's so many. The spawns are pretty weird. Like sometimes the gas valve section is harder. Sometimes this section is harder. Maybe it's because I'm playing casual. But last time I get destroyed with the gas valve section. Like now, now nothing is spawning. Not even hunters. Just had to get a few scouts. That's enter. This gun is busted, so it just dies. Okay, I turn reloading. I hope a cedar cedar don't doesn't spawn now because I'm stuck. Okay, one more to go. If I can beat this with, without going down, it would be insane. <laughs> like this map is definitely harder than Point of Contact. 
But maybe not if you have good RNG like I have this game. RNG has been blessing me with this uh, Kraken fight and that gas, uh, gas action. I wonder how long this Quake and Fight is. Probably like 10 minutes. <laughs> At least. Just shoot Quake in a bit because. It's gonna spawn in much. And there, there everything goes. Arcane oh, Stun just killed a random cryptid. I wonder how scores calculated on the Scraken fight, like is it time to beat or is it not getting hit? The high score guys can probably tell me though. But I do wonder how the Kraken fight looks like if you have to kill him as quickly as possible while also protecting yourself. Not much damage the pistols do. Not that much. Okay, well that was it. <laughs> Quaker Five was so easy. <laughs> like I didn't expect it to be this easy. The the only difficult uh, part in this game really is the upper deck and the gas section but the upper deck like you can just leave leave the area and uh, you'll be fine as long as the trail doesn't die and uh, the gas section is just RNG lottery kill those cedars fast and then hope you don't get too much phantoms and uh, hunters so yeah that's uh, Mayday 10 relics casual done uh, next map will be, I don't know, Awakening or Nightfall. I want to save Exodus for last. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Oh, I will show the after game screen so you guys can see the whole schedule. Uh, so there you go, casual on the bottom left. Uh, 10 relics equipped. Um... I will only use, uh, upload the last part of the video where I am inside uh, the upper deck area because the first half of the game is really boring. Uh, I will upload the full gameplay and the link will be in the description but uh, I won't post an hour and one minute video on YouTube <laughs> because that's really boring. I will only show the interesting part. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.